What's up everybody? It's your girl KK and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to season one, episode seven. Sorry guys for my energy right now. Like I'm extremely tired. Extremely tired. I really was wanted to go <clears throat> sleep and go take a nap. But I said I need to do this video and if I wake up then I'm probably not gonna be in the mood to do it i don't know but you know stuff and stuff can happen so i said let me just do this video get it out there <clears throat> i'm not about to get it out there part that's probably gonna have to happen when i wake up back but <clears throat> let me just do this video my energy is gonna come just permed my hair last night so it's super flat i'm loving it and got my nails done let me just shout her out because she did her thing and I'm super, super impressed. On Instagram, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. It's Creations by OMG Nikki and she did an amazing. Job, like, my nails them all match. The thing is like, no shade to anyone else, but I have to big her up on this because she did really, really good. And I did blue for my birthday because my birthday's coming. Today's the last day of the year. So, yeah, I mean, I had to do my nails. Birthday's January 2nd on Saturday. So, I had to get my nails done. And I'm very, very impressed with her work. Super impressed. So shout out to once again Creations by OMG Nikki. Amazing. I'm gonna make sure I put her um her name. I put it on the screen already. You already seen it. I'll put it in the description down below as well. So you can see it, go on her page, you know. Go show her some love because she's really good at what she does. And you can see the true passion when she's doing your nails. It's not like you're just a person like a dollar sign and just do your nails and get done with it and get money nah like she puts some heart into it and i really appreciate that and i have to respect her for that like my nails are on point and i love them so thank you once again thank you so much all right before i get into this video please go ahead and subscribe like this video comment down below share this video and also hit that notification bell so anytime i drop a video you will know because you'll get the notification, right? Um, we're just going to jump right into the video. All right, so this video is my labor and delivery video, okay? This this is very dear to me. And I, there is something that I really didn't want to share, to be honest, throughout this whole journey. But I'm doing it, you know what I mean, because... Once again, it's part of my journey. You know what I mean? It's how I got my son. My shiny wunny. So, I'm going to start from the beginning. So, basically, with with my okay, with my delivery, um, I was told by my OB to... I had two OBs. <laughs> to choose a date I wanted my child to come. So, it was supposed to be a planned... I was supposed to be getting induced. So the reason I was supposed to get induced is because they said that my baby was too big. That's what the ultrasound said, right? So their first, like, I think like two, three weeks measure going, measuring up, they said my child was like seven pounds. And then closer to the date, they're like, okay, like child measuring at like almost eight pounds type thing from the, from the ultrasound. So I said, okay, I'm not really trying to push out a big old baby. So, all right, let me just choose the date for my child to come. So I ended up choosing um, one date before his actual due date, right? So I just chose one day before, and that was a Sunday, and because I was born on a Sunday too, so it worked out perfect to have that. So I went. So my induction. So induction is like when they induce labor. For you to have your baby so i'm like okay i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be at the hospital for a long time and i went to trillium hospital trillium um mississauga health partners something, something like that but that's where i went to um give birth and 
I went with Jermaine, of course, and my mom. You shut up for my mom. Um, yeah, so I went to the hospital the last few hours. <laughs> this is for the memory. There, so we went to this room. Went to this room, so where they're gonna induce you. So there's other people there, so there can only be one person in the room. So Jermaine and my mom kept switching back and forth, and um, they just put the stuff on your stomach, to, you know, to monitor. I'm pretty sure I have a, I have a video of it, so I'll insert it in the induction. Yeah, so I put that on your stomach, you know, just to monitor the baby, make sure the heart rate, everything like that, everything is good, 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 good. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, so I was supposed to be getting induced because I was about, I think I was one to two centimeters dilated. Yeah, one to two centimeters dilated. And um, I was like, okay, cool. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be here for a long time because to induce me, I got to wait. And they're, what they're going to do, well, the doctor was going to end up putting some cream just around my, um, like the, my vagina opening or whatever. Uh, not my vagina opening. Or is my vagina opening? Something like that. You know, to, um, just kind of trigger it and, you know, <laughs> start with, like, contractions and stuff. And for my, um, but no, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um yeah so i was doing that i was i was going to do that so the doctor came in and put all the stuff on the table and he checked me you know to make sure everything is good whatever whatever everything was good you can i can hear my son's heartbeat and everything and then then my mom and jermaine switched so it's my mom in the room now and we're just there you know just talking whatever on the vibes just on like we're just talking and i think i had one of them got me Tim Hortons, so I was there eating some food, you know what I mean? So, I did that, and then, like, I had to go pee, like, really badly, like, I had to pee, okay? And I was like, but it's such a hassle to take all of these stuff off my stomach, and then go and pee, and then come back, and it was just a lot, you know what I mean? But the, the monitor was slipping off of my stomach, so I was like, oh, before we even get to that part, let me tell you about something. I have the picture. <laughs> I'm gonna insert the picture, okay? So they had to get, they had to run in like a an IV. They no, they wanted to get some blood, right, out of my arm. And like I said in one of my previous videos, that it's hard to get blood from me. My veins are like deep, deep, like deep, deep. So usually people go in my wrist. I got four pokes. In this arm three different nurses then one poke in this arm five pokes just to find blood I'm like yo I felt like I was a test dummy like people were practicing on me you know like nurse like nursing school or whatever or how to like practice and how to do needles and draw blood that's how I felt that's how my arm felt that I was their test dummy Okay, I was so irritated. I was so mad. So anyways, past that. Going back to that, I had to go pee. So the monitor was falling off of me already. So I'm like, you know what? Since the monitor is falling off of me, this is a perfect time to go um, like go ask so to take them off so I can go use the washroom. Because they got to come anyways to adjust it and put it back on. So just take it off so I can go use it. was a black nurse that came in. So she came in and I'm like, oh, like, you know, the thing's dropping off on me. But like, I really have to go to the bathroom really badly. So she's like, she's like, okay, okay, hold on one second. So she's taking the, taking the monitor something. And she knows I'm going to take the monitor off because I'm waiting for it to take it off. Just take the monitor off so I can go pee. That's it. And she's like, um, hold on, hold on. And she's taking the monitor and she's. It's like she's pushing the monitor everywhere on my stomach. You know, like she's trying to look for something. So I'm starting to like kick in like, what's going on? Like something's wrong. Like I just had this feeling something is wrong. So she's looking around and then she's like, oh, when was the last time? Sorry guys. 
when was the last time you felt him move or anything like that so i'm like what are you talking about like i'm trying to think in my head now like oh my gosh when was the last time when was the last time because he's just doing his thing in there you know what i mean so now i'm just trying to i'm panicking i'm just panicking and then she's like hold on and she's still searching she's searching for that heartbeat i mean she's searching for that heartbeat and i'm just like I'm like now i'm starting to panic. i'm like what's wrong i mean you can't find you can't find the heartbeat like what's, what's going on what's going on and she's like sorry guys uh, she's like oh um and she's still searching she's trying to calm me down but at this point i'm not calm because she's trying to turn down like the monitor so like i'm not oh, I'm gonna cry. okay so she's trying to uh, find that and then she's like she's like open up so I opened up my legs and she went inside to see if she could feel anything like if you know my son was coming down or anything like that and I'm just like what's going on what's going on like and then she hit the coat she hit the button the coat oh, behind blue. cold blue so now I'm panicking and now what I realized that cold blue meant like dying so I'm there bawling I'm Crying. Sorry. So I'm there like bawling like somebody talk to me, tell me what's wrong, like what's going on. And then she's still searching and then there's more nurses coming in the room. And then they're trying to all search and I'm like, what is going on? What's wrong with my my son? Like, is he okay? Nobody's telling me anything. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I called your babe, called your babe. So then she, the black nurse finally, finally finds a heartbeat. And I'm like, turn it up, like turn it up, like so I can hear. Finally finds a heartbeat now. And she's like, it's, it's like faint, kind of, it's kind of like faint-ish. So the, the doctor finally comes, so the doctor just did um, an emergency with someone else. And then came in the room, and was like, open up, and he's checking too, checking, checking, checking. And he's like, okay. Like a thing we can't check. I don't know if it's like the umbilical cord, like and wrapped around my son, or what it is, or if he was coming out. I couldn't find. And then right then and there, he's like, "I need your consent right now to do an emergency C-section." Okay, get it together. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, so she's like, the doctor was just like, you know, I need your consent right now, like an oral consent. I'm gonna have to do the papers after to do an emergency c-section right now because your child your baby has to come out right right now because his heart rate is dropping so now i'm panicking i'm panicking oh gosh sorry guys i'm panicking now at this point because i'm just like what's going like why why is this happening like what's going on so like jermaine jermaine call jermaine so they have to call jermaine Holding on to his, his hands, and then at this point, they already taking me down. Like, I'm still on the bed that I was in, right? They're like, You're not walking, you're not getting up, nothing. And they took the bed because you know it's a movable bed, you know what I mean, in the hospitals. And they took that, and they took all like, the wires and stuff off of me, and was rolling me now because they have like an emer I didn't even know they had like a emergency OR right there, like. ER, whatever you want to call it, emergency, what, emergency room, whatever. They had that like right there. So, so I'm holding on to Jimmy's hands and I'm like, he has to come with me. And they're like, no, you have to go by yourself. So I'm like, I can't do this by myself. Like, you can't do this by myself. They're like, yeah, it's fine. He'll be outside the room, my mom, whatever. So I'm like, okay. Like okay, at this point, what what else can I do? I I want my baby to come out safely, so now I gotta tough it up because 
my baby's coming. So like I didn't go all this way. I did not go all this way. You know what I mean? So they put me in there. They transferred me from what is the from the bed I was on to the OR bed, and and they strapped my arm, strapped this arm, and I'm like, yo, what's going on? You got like five, ten different people in this room now. Someone's working on this arm. Someone's working on this arm, and then I had to do a, a catheter. So they put the catheter, you know my pee hole so like I could pee like attach that to me so I've opened it up so I'm just feeling so much different things happening at once and I'm just panicking and then you have someone over my head that's finally like you know it's okay don't worry relax so I couldn't find my blood once again they're like please come on we need to find her blood right now right now and they're they're panicking and it's making me panic even more and I'm just like oh my gosh so like and then they put in the catheter. I don't even remember how it even felt like. Because, like, my head was everywhere at once, right? And then they're like, okay. And they want to put the... Because they had to put me to sleep. It was my first time ever going to sleep. But they had to put me to sleep because, obviously, it's an emergency. So, there's no time to wait for no epidural or no anything type thing. And, like, the baby had to come out now. So, I'm all strapped up catheter and they finally can get an IV running through me and stuff and they put the oxygen mask over me and they're like you're okay don't worry just breathe all right because I got into the OR I think 11 o'clock and, uh, and they're like just count backwards it was like 10 9 8 and then whew, I was out I was out I was out and then I woke up. I woke up in a room. I guess it's like like the recovery room. I woke up in the recovery room. Obviously, I was still like out of it. Like I was still like felt like I was in drugs or something. Like I was just out of it. And my mom, like I was my mom. I woke up and my mom was there. I think it was like almost like 12:30, right? And I got up and then I was asking like. Where's my son? Is he okay? So they told me that he he um he came out at eleven twenty. You know what I mean? And um he was five pounds, eleven ounces. So I don't know where these doctors and this ultrasound is saying that my baby was eight pounds and everything like that. My baby was small, okay? Like I knew my baby was gonna be small because I was a small child. My brother was, my mom was, so that's just small babies just ran in the family, okay? So I knew my son was going to be small, about eight pounds, and then he came out five pounds, okay? Five pounds, 11 ounces. Okay, so I was drugged up, as I said. So my mom, I, she actually has the video. I really want to show that video to you guys. I was, and I was there, my weird self, saying, I want some chicken. I was asking for chicken. I was asking for chocolate milk, for Jermaine, for my baby, even my best friend, because my best friend was supposed to come as well. So I was asking for all of those stuff, and I just was super, I look super ugly. So <coughs> I'll insert a piece of that video. If my mom can find the video because she had it on her phone, so if she can find it, then here you go. And if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah so that's basically what happened and then like after surgery i was just there like waiting i couldn't eat right away and then they um i said they stitched me up you know stuff like that so i finally went into the room so i was supposed to go into a um i wanted to go into a private room but they didn't have a private room so i ended up just saying okay my insurance covers uh what do they call it um a semi-private room so it was supposed to be me and someone else there so i ended up getting a private room at the end which was nice private room and it was just you know my mom ended up staying too and Jermaine because I had to be there for two days which was okay which is that, that. so I had a emergency c-section and um this is after but God is good all the time all the time God's good I'm still looking cute and then um yeah so and at this point, I'm just eager. Like, I just want to see my baby. I 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 want to see what he looks like. And just everything. I just want to see my baby. Because all I was seeing my child was from people's phones. So imagine I'm carrying my child for nine months. And all I could see my child is from people's phones. From a FaceTime. 
because he has to go into the NICU. So I'm seeing all of this, but I can't get this bitch out because I just came out of surgery and they wanted to make sure I'm okay too. And then he was okay. I'm like, just, just hooked up on so much But yeah, I don't know about to talk about all of that, but yeah, they were just like, they're like, oh, you don't feel like you want to vomit or anything like that. I'm like, no, like I had so much determination because I just wanted to see my child. I didn't end up seeing my, my baby until nine, like 9.30 that night. I'm going to finally, finally see my baby boy. With my dear. So because they kept saying oh we want to make sure you're good can you walk can you stand up are you dizzy and i'm like no 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 like i'm fine like you're making me do the test i'm standing up i'm doing everything that you want me to do like it just was to my child like that's how i felt and they're like okay you're like you're gonna go see your child you're gonna see your child they're like wow i can't believe you're recovering so fast you most people they'd be vomiting they'd be weak they'd be dizzy and everything like that and i'm like well that's not me so can i see my child <laughs> You know what I mean? So, I didn't have no pain, so which was good. I didn't have no pain. I guess it's probably all the, the, the pills that they had me on, but I didn't feel nothing. So, um, yes, yeah, so I finally got to see my baby. <gasps> my long baby. You're not definitely insert a picture. Not insert a picture yet. Because his reveal is coming off my birthday, January 2nd. That's why I'm dropping these videos, like, back to back. Because I want to finish the season with a big reveal of my son. You know how old my son is. Everything, just seeing my baby. So I'm super, super excited about about that coming on my birthday. And my birthday is in two days. No. Today's the 31st. For a second, two days till my birthday. But anyways, I'm not making this video any more longer than it already is. I'm gonna try to cut, cut out, cut out, cut out, cut out some parts stuff like that but that was my labor and delivery so all in all i did say i wanted to feel pain i wanted to feel contractions i wanted to do it norm on um, natural birth everything like that i planned for it. i was ready for god had other plans and i didn't i didn't feel no contractions at all no pain during labor i was out the whole time I came out with a c-section i had no pain after for the c-section like i healed up real good real quick so that's pretty much was my delivery and labor Sorry for all the bawling. <laughs> I told myself I'm gonna cry, but it was it was it was an emotional time. But I thank God the whole way, every step of the way, because He knows what He's doing and He's in control and everything happens for a reason. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.